Now it's time for us to physically retrieve Sapikmon's mask. And this quest is a heck of a doozy. The first thing we're going to do is go out here and talk to Kale. She's just over here chilling and she's going to tell us that she saw Baronmon? Hey Junior, listen! I saw a Digimon with an amazing face going to East Sector. I think that was Baronmon. Oh, wow. What a lovely piece of information, Kale. Let's head on over to the East Station, through the South Station, using the gondola. I like how Junior is not afraid to use the gondola after almost dying when he used it the first time to a huge hydro pumping monster. It's actually still on the loose. I'm actually scared just thinking about it. Now we're going to head through the Kicking Forest and make our way to Seiryu City. Where there's a lovely little Agumon who's going to give us a juicy piece of information. Isn't it nice when NPCs actually help instead of just saying not even pieces of lore over and over? We're going to come up here. Big white stairs. Can't miss it. Like, repeating Tom. He's great. He repeats the same piece of useful information over and over. So here's the Agumon. Hey, Ty. Baronmon, he isn't here. He likes forests and ruins, so maybe he's there. Oh, forests and ruins. Okay. Do we know of any forests and ruins? Well, I guess there's protocol ruins, so... Those are both in the forests... And also ruins. That's a good place to look. So we're going to go through Divermon's Lake over here. And really, there's just not much to say about Divermon Lake. It's a lake with Divermon. Once we're in the East Wire Forest, we go over here. And then we're into the protocol ruins. We do have to go through that little maze that is so tricky. Even if you already know the path, you can still mess it up. So you go up and around and down through the little squigglies over here, up and around again. Got to get that little thing right there. Over here is the tricky one too, up and around. And now we're going to take a very different path in the protocol ruins. We want to just keep holding left until we can't go left anymore, and then we're going to go up. Like so. Hey, Baronmon, how you doing? Speakmon had his mask on when he was with me. The strange thing is, last I heard, he was at Asuka City. Speakmon, at Asuka City? But we know he's in the Tranquil Swamp. So who could... Oh my gosh. Now we come out and go through the puzzle again. Probably pretty good at the puzzle by now. In case you aren't. I will show how to go through it again. There we go. And we're just going to make our way all the way back to Asuka City. There's a little jump ramp here. Make it faster. I guess either Junior is really strong or there's like no physics in the digital world. Because you would think that would be a very large fall. That's like roughly four times his body length. I know if I did that, I'd be feeling pretty not good. Alright, once we're in Central Park, we're practically back to Asuka City. We're going to cross the Asuka Bridge and head to the Lamb Chop, which is a local bar in the digital world for kids. I love kid-friendly bars, especially ones that are named after large pieces of meat. Talk to Master John over here. 
Sabikmon is causing all kinds of problems. He wrote in on our sign. Oh my gosh. How could he? We're gonna come down this way? Onto the Asuka Bridge. And here it is. Sabikmon. Oh, hey, look. I found my mask. A way to defeat Zombamon? Sorry, no idea. I'm the one who found my mask, so I'm not going to tell you. Okay, thanks for totally not being suspicious, Sapikmon. See you later. Also, how you wandered over here with your mask on and after you said you couldn't leave with your mask off. Totally normal. So we're going to make our way back to Asuka Inn. Come down this way. And through the underground path, we're going to go find us a Eteman. Standing over here by the tree. I heard Sapikmon ran towards the Divermon Lake. But he's one bad dude. I'm embarrassed that I'm the same type Digimon as him. Oh. You're embarrassed, huh? Me too. Sabikmon is actually cool and helpful and not a pain in our took us. So we walk out to Asuka City and you can bet you know where we're heading next. The Divermon Lake. We're going to walk all the way out there. Central Park, you just go south. And for all of the next areas, you pretty much just go south all the way through. There's nothing you need to do in any of the wire forest maps. So we're going to go down and around here. And we are not going to hit the guaranteed Kawagamon spawn. We just can't do it again. Although I do think it's really inconsistent. Like, it moves a little bit every time the map loads. Oh, I have not tested that fully. Whoops. Want to go down here? You can tell I just really want to be in Divermon Lake. My favorite map. There's going to be kind of a weird dude over here chilling. So just go down and to the left. Maybe he's nervous. I'm not sure what he's doing back here alone in the forest, but. Okay, everything is normal. Whoa, hey, who are you? Don't sneak up on me like that. You scared me. Uh, I'm sorry, mister. I'm not an old man. I'm Nick. I'm only 21. Oh, ah, yeah, sorry. Are there only rude people on this server? First Ateman, and now you. Ateman, did something happen? I found this huge, gaudy shield. The Ateman came and said it was his. And took it from me without even saying thank you. Ateman, a gaudy shield? I wonder what that is. Ugh. Hey, I'm pretty busy, so... Why aren't they doing their jobs? I wish they'd look at me as an example. Anyways, that was Nick. He's stuck in the 60s, even though he's only 21. We're now going to head back to Asuka City. But Junior... Still hasn't really put things together. You know, huge gaudy shield. Guy causing mischief. Eteman acting kind of weird. I think we've kind of figured it out, right? Stay tuned. We're going to head all the way back to Asuka City. We're almost there. Some of the other stuff that 
Ateman has been doing in the city includes throwing banana peels, which is actually the biggest clue, but it's not necessary to complete this part of the game. The Asuka Bridge over here. Then we're going to go down here through the inn, through the underground path, and talk to Ateman again. When I was younger, I had so much trouble understanding how the map of this area was. I used to get lost all the time. I don't know why. But he's right here by the tree. <laughs> Boy, am I excited today. Hey, Ateman, I got something I want to ask. Sure, what? I'll tell you anything I know. Aren't you the one who has Sapikman's mask? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, wait. He's hiding something. He's hiding something, and he's hiding somewhere. So head back into the underground path, and then go down here to the right. And he's here chilling in the sewers. Gotcha. You really are ra a rash that won't go away. Oh, all right. I'll give it back. Okay. Here, I handed over the Sapik mask. And now we finally have the Sapik mask. <laughs>